Hey guys, uh, it's 54%. I'm sorry, okay? We recorded two videos last night. Tried to upload them. We don't have Wi Fi right now. So, well, we do now, but we didn't last night for some reason. And they said, or the provider said, yeah, you'll have to wait like 74 hours or 72 hours, not 74, till we can do anything and try and come out. Let me quickly make sure. Yep. I had to make sure my uh, microphone was recording because. The two videos I recorded last night didn't have any audio from me, so it was just me failing over and over and over with no audio. So I'm going to record them again now, so you're not going to see those, I apologise. But yeah, that's really annoying, because I tried to upload the videos, or one video last night, because, you know, I found a way. I, the, we have a pub just across the road, and they have free Wi-Fi, so I tried to just leech off of their Wi-Fi to try and upload a video. And that video was about 20 minutes long, and it took I don't know how long because I fell asleep before it could upload. It got to 10%, and when you're uploading from YouTube, I think it's either 3 or 2 hours, I'm pretty sure it's 3 though. If a video surpasses 3 hours of upload time, it won't tell you how long it has to upload. And it got past 10% and it didn't show the time. So yeah, it took a while for a 20 minute video to upload. But it did it. And then I realized when I looked at it, because I like, copyright thing, and I was like, ah, well, it's fine. It's just um, the person who made the music for Club Step saying, hey, look, uh, you might get ads on your videos, so I make monies off of my actual music. I apologize for that. But I don't mind. I don't mind. And, yeah, it's fine. They don't, they don't shout at you like some people do. But still... Yeah, I did two videos, I got to like, here on the first video, here to the second video. <laughs> but now I have Wi-Fi back, I don't know why, but, but oh well, and I'm gonna show you practice mode, I did just die immediately, I think that's exactly what I did on the first run as well, last time, so, good to see I'm not changing. But I now know some of the level, as you can tell, because I used to die on all these bits, just from jumping into things. And I think the first time I did it, it took me about a hundred and something attempts, on practice mode. Probably like 150, if I'm to guess, but now I sort of know what's going on on the early sections. Late sections, I'm a bit, uh, like that bit, I always forget to go up. Oh, don't clip into walls, you nincompoop. This bit, my plan is just... Okay, now I've learned where all the spikes are. That's helpful, actually. I can just sort of go up and down there. Ooh. I haven't made it this bit, if you couldn't tell. I've forgotten what's here. Oh, I'm an idiot. That's going to kill me, no doubt. Oh, that's going to kill me, no doubt, because it just did. But yeah, I've seen all this before, because, you know, I've done Praxmo before. As you can see, that's why I've, like, got the thing. And I unlocked a new spaceship, or new UFO, called Clubbin. Okay, this bit sucks. There we go. Oh, I knew that bit sucked, because I'd done it before, and it was, like, really hard to land on it. I always landed... Slightly early or slightly late. I only jumped off one of those. Oh, I was meant to. Fair enough. I'll accept it. I forgot this level was mean. Well, I didn't forget how it was mean. I just forgot how mean it was. And now I remember how mean it was. And now I'm angry at it. Forgot that's what you had to do as well, if you couldn't tell. And this bit's super tight. And it's really awkward to get past. And I died many times there before. But now I didn't. And I remember this bit sucking as well. Fair enough. Okay, I didn't die that time. It's good. Oh, okay. It's not that bit that sucks. That bit's relatively easy, but it's going to terrify me. See? I'm remembering. I did click, so I knew I didn't have to click on any of those ones. But alas, it was too early. Or too late, even. Uh, I hate this bit so much. It's so ridiculously awkward. Last time I went up here because I was like, hey, screw you, I can see where there's a coin, because I can see where there's not a wall, so I'm going to get it, even if it's on practice mode and it won't count. Because, you know, at least I can then say I got it. it oh, come on. No! There we go. I forgot it changed me. Oops. Oh! Oh! Because I don't know what angle I'm at when I go through it. The next one, I think you go over. You go over the entire thing. Yeah, you go over here, because the game is mean. This game is extremely mean. 
and I'm a, I was at a horrible angle to get through all those, so it was quite difficult. Otherwise, I'd need to be at a better angle to make that easier on myself. Plus the fact that I'm in practice mode. Practice mode makes this ridiculously hard. It does that with every level. Oh, come on. Come on, you only click on the first two. Come on! Dude! I remember hating this bit, because you've got to jump so late. Please. Please. Please! There we go. Then you jump, jump. Let go, I said. Let go. My brain melted when it did that. My brain! Good to see I'm not improving. That makes me feel better. You gotta, like, pull up the entire time, but let go very, very gently. On the... As you get it. Yeah, good to see I'm not improving. Oh, have you saved there, really? Why would you save there when the other time I made it further than that and you didn't save? You stupid thing. Yeah, this is why I'm not going to finish this level very quickly. All the fact that I'm not going to finish the level, but I'm determined to finish this goddamn level. I saw that floating thing and thought it was the thing I was going to go off of. Okay, isn't X or Z... Yeah, Z is placed the thing, so I'm going to place one as soon as I get there. So now it's noted, click all the buttons! Oh, you... Okay, up. up. Under, under, under. Oh. There we go. Less attempts, but not by a huge margin. <laughs> but still less, so yay. Making sure the thing is still making noise. Thank you, microphone. I don't know why OBS does this to me. But, like, it's not that it's just, oh, you flicked a switch on your microphone. No, it's like, it deselects my microphone just every now and then, and I really don't know why. Like, I don't think I've heard any problems from other YouTubers that I watch that use OBS saying, for some reason, occasionally, my microphone decides to say no. Or OBS decides to say no. Like, you'll go to the microphone settings, because at first I thought, oh, maybe I botched a setting by mistake. So I went, um, flicked switches on the microphone, seeing if it did something. Nothing happened. So then eventually I went to thingy, because it hasn't happened for so long, which is why I didn't expect it. Um, I went to the thing, and it just said, um, it won't work, or, or, like, there's either no microphone that can be selected. Oh, come on, why can't I not get this? You may be saying I'm stupid for going for the coin, but it's an easier path, which I mentioned in the last videos, but you won't see that now. Or, and you wouldn't hear me say it anyway if you could see it. So that's a shame, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, what was I saying? I was saying something, I can't remember. I didn't mean to jump there, that happens a lot. Because my brain melts. This first bit, up to like, just before 30%, is relatively easy. I'm just very inconsistent at it, because I suck. But when I get it down, it's like, that did not feel like I was being stressed at all, and it felt pretty simple. But yeah, what was I saying? I was saying something, and now it's bugging me. I can't remember what it was. I forgot to go up. I always forget to go up. But yeah, the plan for this video is to basically make make it further than I made it in any of the other videos. Which, you know, yay if that happens and boo if it doesn't happen. So I'm hoping it happens. It'd be very nice if it could happen. Because otherwise, blech. It, it'll, well, it'll be progress from your perspective. From my perspective, I'll be like, well, I know I didn't make it further, so rip. I remember to go up. Damn it. Okay, so that one you go down, and then up, and then down, I don't know. I made it through that bit first try when I made it there in normal mode. Last time, and I got extremely lucky to do that. It was just first try, and I was like, oh my god, what am I doing? But I made it, and it felt amazing. Okay, I didn't mean to do that. I, I clicked extremely late off of the first pink thing. And it got me dead, it did. And this is not much different to what happened before in the in the in the recordings oh that bit used to kill me a lot as well because that thing the blue thing is so close to the ground see what i mean it's so close to the ceiling that when it flips your gravity up i don't know why i didn't jump there but yeah since it's, the gravity changes like it changes so quickly and basically flings you into the floor 
It's basically... Oh, please. You know how much I hate these things, game? Why did you have to make a level where the first bit is dedicated to them? Pretty much the entire level is dedicated to them faking you out as well. Which makes me very sad. But... Uh, what was I saying? I was saying something, and now it's gone from my brain, and that's annoying. Why are you not jumping? Oh yeah, I was talking about how that thing is cruel. Basically, because it's so close to the ceiling when it flips your gravity, if you haven't let go of the button by the time you hit the other wall, which is a very small window, you just die. You will just die, because you'll jump as soon as you hit the floor. Because if you hold jump off of these things, it'll make you jump. If you hold jump before you hit them, to try and hit them, it won't work. But if it's you bouncing off of the floor, it will work. Which makes it a pain in the backside. In the jack seat. In the butthole. But oh well, and you can see how inconsistent I am at it, but it isn't that hard. It's just those floaty things, because you can get such mixed results depending on where you click on it, it breaks my brain occasionally. Which isn't good. Because if you click on it late, you're going to have a different result if you click on it early. If you click on it in the middle, you're going to have a different result. See, then. Bounced off one slightly differently to how I normally would, and it threw me completely off. I never had this problem yesterday when recording. I never had the problem of, hey, uh, you're going to bounce here. Which was, well, like, I used to like, always get the coin. I had it so I'd never, like, miss. Sometimes I'd be, like, the tiniest bit off and clip the spike, but it was very rare. Really? Really? So you can clip through things occasionally, but that time you just didn't want to because I was the tiniest margin above. Really? That's one of the times I would want to clip. See, that time was, like, really smooth getting through there. That was one of the smooth ones I've had, like, today. <laughs> Since today is my first time recording today, because, you know, I really wanted to get, like, a video out that actually had me talking in it. Even though, like, what could I have to show that would be entertaining? But still. Still. Ah! Still, like, I just wanted to have it so I have my commentary, because otherwise it's, like, really boring. With my commentary, it seems, like, mildly entertaining, at least. For God's sake! I don't know what's going wrong there. I think I'm just jumping too late off of something, but I don't know why I would be. Like, I'm doing the exact same as I just did then. It's weird, I don't know, but okay. I'm sorry if I sound different, because it's early for me, so I'm recording early, so my voice has not had a time, had a time, had the chance to break itself in yet. That's what used to occasionally happen. That's what used to occasionally happen, where I just clip the spike. I get everything right, I just gently clip it. And then that's what happens when it goes right. But yeah, I don't know how far I'm going to make it in this video, but... Oh well, I hope to try and beat my record, like I said. That would be nice. But I don't feel like I'm going to. <laughs> but let's see. I didn't hold up. What am I doing? I need to hold up there. I don't know what is with me at that bit. Like, I should know what to do by now. As much as I do get there inconsistently, as I've said. But it's still not that bad. Come on, brain. Let's focus this time. Let's not hold up too much, though. Ah, oh, for God's sake. Whenever I don't focus on that bit, though. See, that's why I keep failing. Because I remember, like, having a similar problem yesterday while recording. Could you stop dying there, for the love of God? That is an easier path. Stop doing the late jumps. God's sakes. There we go. But yeah, that bit's not difficult. Oh, why didn't you jump? I held jump as soon as I fell off of the, like, thing. Which might have been a bit early to hold it, because that means I could have died early by jumping just off of the edge. But still, I don't know how it died there when I jumped as soon as I came off the edge. So it would immediately jump off the floor. But yeah, this bit I die at a lot if I'm thinking about later stuff in the level. Because... My brain sees a block to land on, even if that block will kill me. Bounce off the ceiling and I didn't think I would. My bad. But yeah. Okay, that's gotta be an instant jump or I would have died there. Got it. But yeah, what was I saying? Yeah, if I think about stuff earlier or later in the level at this point, my brain sees the invisible blocks and thinks I need to jump off of them. When I don't a lot of the time. 
because the game's mean like that. <laughs> that time it didn't bounce me off the ceiling. And that's the time I wanted to bounce off the ceiling, so I was prepared for it that time. God damn it. That was very lucky, and I don't know how I did it, but okay, I'll accept it. Thank you, game. Thank you very much. Could you stop being idiot face? It would be nice if you could stop being idiot face. That was extremely close. Extreme. That's dead. Called it. Called it. I think I would have overshot the next bounce pad as well. So I just decided to. I decided to leave it. And restart. It's not like it takes very long to get there. <laughs> Dies a million times. It's taking so long to get there. I should have died there. And then I went into a phrase of panic. A phrase of panic? A frenzy of panic. And it caused me to die there instead. Now, what happened there is... I bounced off of about a million wrong things and clicked, I think, just before I hit the ground on something. And it didn't jump. But if it did jump, it would have killed me. So my brain was like, oh god, I should be dead right now. What's happening? What's going on? I need to get back into the rhythm that I'm normally in at this point. But I couldn't get back into the rhythm, so I just didn't jump off of those ones. But oh well. Just to get back into my rhythm, I need to have a, like, a normal flat area. Ah, that happens so much. Yeah, I need to get into a normal flat area. Where there's going to be no problems. Just so I can say, you know what? We click when we see something coming up. Because otherwise, stuff is continually being thrown at you, so you just can't, like, focus back on what you're doing for some reason. At least that's not how my brain works. Might not be how yours works. That's how mine works. So, yay! Okay, come on! This isn't that bad. This isn't that bad. You can do it because it isn't that bad. That happens a lot as well. Holding slightly too long there. It doesn't have to be that much... Like, it, it, there's a very weird... It's very... Uh, <laughs> I didn't jump. I held the jump button and it didn't jump. So then it jumped very late when I clicked again. To try and save it. <sighs> it didn't hold the button. It's just I didn't quite let go of the button by the time it hit me to the ceiling. God damn you, game. Felt like I should have died there, but oh well. Really? You can die like that? Really? Really? <laughs> I'm accepting that death, because that's like... I don't think it's ever happened to me before over the course of like 400 attempts. Because that's probably how much I've put into it at this point. But still. We're actually probably near 500, because I think it was at like... 300 when I last looked, and we did like over 100 in the other thing. And now we're at like 50. I clipped it again! God damn you! <laughs> Could you just not clip it? Or just clip it all the time? Then I would learn a consistent strat. But when it's not consistent, that happens. I'm going to try and clip it every time. That's going to make me feel better. Because if I don't clip it every time, it means I'm going late. That's easy. Oh, I forgot! I forgot again. Okay, just focus. Do that shot again, then you got to hold up. That's all you got to do. Once I get it a couple of times in a row, that's when it's going to start clicking. It's basically like a dog, you know? They do something good, you give them a treat. They do something good again, you give them a treat. Then they'll learn, keep doing this good thing, I will get treats. I bounced, and I did mean to pull up. That was entirely my bad. I just started doing it far earlier than I needed to. But oh well. That would have worked. That would have worked. So I'm not going to worry too much about it. Come on. Come on. Come on. You know the strat. Oh, I want it. Roof bit. Which would, in that case, is the floor. Oops. Like on that bit, I don't care when I, like if I hit the floor or not, or if I'm hitting the ceiling or not. I mean, because I just want to hold up. That's the plan, at least. Come on! Just believe. Yes. Yes. 
No! <laughs> Progression at least. Ah. Uh, we made progress, I'm happy. It didn't jump for there for some reason. That happened last time, I don't know why it happens. Might just be because the computer has been on for quite a while. And some people are like, well I never turn my computer off. Yeah, but you probably like have it on sleep or something. You probably don't literally just leave it on that entire time. And if you do, Jesus Christ. But yeah, I remember when I came back to the computer after it had done the upload from the neighbor's Wi-Fi. I was just like, I don't want to do this anymore. But yeah, that's a thing. But then our Wi-Fi was back, so I was like, you know what? Let's go to our Wi-Fi, because, you know, it's our Wi-Fi, it's faster. As much as the providers are awful. Absolutely awful. I'm very happy that our Wi-Fi is back. It makes me feel better about everything. I try my best on that bit, but it's never enough. I didn't even try and jump that time. My finger didn't even, like, try to put any pressure onto the, like, mouse. It just let it happen. And you know what, mouse? Or finger? If you want to do that, you can do it. So, you, you live a free life. It's your decision at the end of the day, my, my finger. My finger. Oh, that was just completely stupid. I should have just held the button so I was on the ceiling the entire time. Instead, I went for what I normally do. And I just float through that section. Ah. Uh, yeah, I float through the section. And it got me dead. And that's not good. Because that time I bounced off the ceiling and it made me go off of my path and bounce me into the thing. Which, you know, is my fault. So let's try and do it differently this time and just go straight into the floor. So it doesn't go wrong. You know when you get steam pop up and you're like, ooh, let's look at that. And then you're like, wait, no, it doesn't matter. And then you look back at the screen and you're about to die and you're like, I don't know what to do. And you panic. That's what happened there. That is exactly what happened there. Just my brain not quite knowing what to do in the circumstances it was given. Mm. Pardon me, Jesus Christ. Come on. Okay, I flowed through there again and I didn't know what to do. Ugh. It's because I didn't do what I was planning to do, so then the next section my brain just went, uh, to. God damn it. Like that section where you're the right way up again, that's a bit I don't get to very often. Like, for some reason I didn't want to jump there. I don't know why I don't want to jump there. If there was a bounce pad or something to troll me, my brain would have a reason. <sighs> it would have a reason to do it. But the fact that it doesn't have a reason is the annoying thing. It's just like, eh, I don't feel like jumping now. Just do it, do your thing. I'll just, I'll just wait. Don't you worry. But oh well. Can I get it this time? Let's have a look. <laughs> that was a that was a loud face palm. It was good. It didn't hurt either. But instead of doing what I wanted to do, I just died. Oh god damn the notifications. I need to turn these notifications off. I don't even know if you can. I assume you can. Seems logical. But I'm just getting a Twitter thing saying Twitter stuff even though I don't even use Twitter. I have a Twitter account, but I don't use Twitter. Like, at all. It's just not a thing I use. So go away with the Twitter. It's not me saying I don't like Twitter. Isn't, like, Twitter one of the half-decent social medias compared to a lot of them? I don't know. But still. I don't care. I've never used social media. I probably will at some point. But you know, like, I have Steam, I have a bunch of people on there that I talk to, and we can, like, it's not hard to get a conversation going on Steam, it's like, oh hey, you're playing a game, is it fun, what kind of game is it? You know? And then you can just talk about other stuff as well, because, you know, that's what talking does, it just turns into conversations, and conversations just turns into random stuff. You could just end up talking about Hitler's balls, I don't know. Conversations are weird. That was not an intentional jump. Like, I intended to hold the button down. 
I still do not want not why it's not jumping there. Yeah, um, I do know why it jumped. It's because I held the button. But I, I, I was trying to jump off the edge. But I didn't mean to jump on that bit. Ah, oh, the stupid bit. Where it's just like, you're going to jump now. Why? Because you didn't let go of the button fast enough. So annoying. So annoying. Especially if it's not consistent and it'll make you just die if you don't let go fast enough. But you'll live if you do let go fast enough. If it made you live if you didn't click fast enough, I'll be perfectly fine with it then. Because then it's just like, oh, just, just don't click. Or just hold it down and you'll make it. But that's not how it works. You just die. Unless you do it an extremely late jump over the blue thing, which I don't really want to try and do. Like, I'm all for <laughs> consistencies and all, but that's going to break my brain. And I don't like trying to do it on those things because they're annoying. But oh well. Ah, oh, I bounced. And then by the time I remembered I need to hold up, I died. And that's not me trying to blame the game. Since you heard me saying, by the time I remembered, that's me blaming myself right there. I bonked because of me, and I didn't hold up anyway because of me. Okay, you gotta remember to hold up. Yeah, I had a feeling that happened because I bounced off of something and I got really scared of where I'd go, even though it doesn't actually bounce you upwards unless it's a slope, so it shouldn't really have done anything crazy. So I should have just known what it was going to do and just gone with it anyway. But it's because it was something that I didn't want to do and it hadn't done before, so my brain got confused even though it would have done the exact same thing. I apologise. My nose just decided to melt. Nose, come back. I need you to speak. Really? Really? I held up and you only pulled up that much? That's cruel. Why do I just not try and jump there? I'm so confused to what my brain is trying to do. Like, come on. Oh, that time was just stupid. I saw the bounce pad and it's like, <gasps> bouncy! Because, you know, usually in levels, there's only one thing to troll you and it'll have an arrow pointing towards it saying, no, no, no. Or an arrow pointing towards it saying, off of this one. And then the X is on the ones that you can't use. This level thinks otherwise. But it looks like the video is about to end, especially with all these deaths. I don't mind about getting a good finishing attempt, but still, come on, just gotta believe in myself, and then we can get further. Did we make the 39 before? Let's see if we can make it to 40. I feel like that's way more likely in the next video, or just way more likely it doesn't happen. That was awful. I thought I was going to hit the first bike, so I tried to get over it, and then I held the button too long. I didn't even click then. Let's see how far I can get on the final attempt. So I don't care that the videos are short. Let's just do the normal thing I do. I think I can go die here. Called it. I was off. But we made progress. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you're still enjoying the series. I'm sorry about two videos I couldn't upload. There's a big palaver, blah de blah. But it's over with now. I'll see you guys next time. See ya!